Hi there, it's me, Kate Okturi Motiva internationally. I'm linguist and founder of Homolingua. And this is episode five of podcast Adventures with a Curious Linguist. Do you remember how I was complaining about our guide on the study trip? Well, let me introduce to you our guide, or a rumble, a lady who was not meant to be a guide, but somehow she decided to be a guide. Well, it's not only because she had difficulties to get on the bus, get off the bus, and I really don't know how she survived any of our walking tours, but it was about her ability to calculate the speed of the bus and the time that it would take us to get somewhere. So she obviously had problems with physics and mathematics. Probably with history was all right, but physics and mathematics definitely not her strong sport. Well, on our way from Germany to Belgium, then to France, we were supposed to stop in Brussels and go and see the pain boy. Oh well. First, we were told that we would be quite late for the center of Brussels. Okay, no problem. But when we continued driving and driving and driving and found ourselves at 11 p.m. in Antwerpen, we got more than confused. We were hungry, we were tired, we wanted to see Brussels at least at night, and we were in Antwerpen. What is this way in that? We had no clue. And to our dismay, the central square where we stopped was under a construction and all the restaurants were already closed, including, wait for it, McDonald's. Everything was shut down. We're like, wonderful, where are we going? Anyways, we went somewhere like in the city center, turn to the left, yeah, taking one alley and the other one. And we encountered a pizzeria. That was quite a surprise at that time. And those guys, Italians, were just standing in the street, playing with pizza, you know, pizza dough. And for me, probably, it was my very first close encounter with real Italians. And when I saw them, I was like, oh, those are Armenians or Jordans. They looked alike. It was just ridiculous how the appearances here yeah, could deceive us. So we had really happy, got many, many pizzas, probably a couple of dozens, you know, boxes, got back to our bus and left. Happy. Imagine that in five years, in five years, when I was in Belgium with a friend of mine and we were going from Brussels to Ghent, we got tickets, like train tickets here, yeah, direct uh, route, but suddenly our tickets got changed by the company and we had to stop somewhere like and change trains. And guess what? It's out to be Antwerpen. I was like, wow, wait a second. The name of the city ring the bell. Let's check it out. And indeed, it turned out to be the very same city where we stopped late at night to get pizza. But the point was that we stopped like the rail, rail train station here. We stopped like on the other side of the city. So it wasn't like exactly where we stopped with the bus. But I was determined to come back to that square and maybe even to find this pizzeria. And it sounds ridiculous, but we found it. I was just like following signs and we were going to the main square and then taking a few alleys, like trying here and there, like try and error. And what I saw just made me open my mouth in surprise and just stay there, just freeze. Because 
what I remembered from the time when we stopped at night, it was just a, a tiny pizzeria somewhere like in one of central alleys. But when we came there already five years time, it was two buildings, one in front of another. Just amazing, like how they grew, like Italian community there. Oh, well, went in there and it seemed like it was the same owner. I took advantage of my Italian, spoke to the guys, explained to them, told them the story. They said, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That was a time when they were just starting apparently and that how business was going well, pretty well, right? Flourishing. And uh, well, to celebrate this story, they gave us like, free meals, free rosé wine and some more perks. It was beautiful. And uh, I encourage you to tell us as well, if you had any crazy stories, any story where you went to one place and then got back there in years and something was the same or something changed, share with us. Share on your social media, tag on Malingua, and the best stories we are going to publish on our social media channels. Cheers.